Now, Busia, Siaya, Homa Bay, and Migori counties are set to benefit from a 52 billion shilling climate change mitigation program targeting the Lake Victoria Basin. The pilot project will also go a long way in mitigating the effects of the perennial flooding that has led to massive destruction of property and displacement of persons. Lake Victoria collects water from 22 rivers with only one outlet in River Nile that often leads to a rise in water levels. If there is an increase in rainfall, it essentially means that there will be more water in the lake, coming in the lake, than going out. And what does that mean? If it is a bottle and you are putting more water into the bottle than it is going out, what will happen is the water will rise. And this is something that we have seen. And this is not the first time we are seeing the lake levels rising. Buoyed by the perennial flooding along the lake basin, the raging waters have caused irreparable damage and loss over the years. But what is worrying now with the climate change is that the sequences of lake level rising is becoming more frequent. Because if you take from 1870 to 1960 and then from 1962 to 20, you see that the time is, uh, is reducing. And that's why you are seeing the lake, most of these lake levels. In efforts geared at remedying the situation, Busia, Siaya, Homa Bay and Migori counties are to benefit from a 52 million shillings climate change mitigation program. We need to change the way we do things because you see a lot of deforestation takes, is taking place and all these contribute to the climate change. So it's really, it's really preparing and of course the countries need also to plan. We need to start planning and having what is called, called an early warning system so that when we have the enough data we can easily tell people the lake is going to rise between this period up to this period so that people can be able to be moved to there. The program will also put in place an early climate change warning system to aid in disaster aversion. The Adopt Climate Change in Lake Victoria Basin program is to run until 2022. Elsewhere, small-scale farmers in Kisi County are expected to record improved yields following the introduction of microcop, a mixed blend fertilizer to be applied during planting and as a top dressing for maize. I will appeal to our small-scale farmers to embrace it. Is a product that uh, will give them better harvest than uh, we've seen. Given that uh, for many, many years uh, we've been using types of fertilizers that have added a lot of uh, acidity in our soils, which make our crops to fail, not to produce what we expected. Farmers have welcomed the rollout, saying it would boost their crop yields and improve soil composition. Regina Manyara reporting for Channel One Business.